So, it's our second snow day of the season, which means that I am craving comfort, warm comfort food, tasty things that fill you up and leave you feeling less cold inside. Um, seriously though, I, I like the snow, but this kind of reminds me of, there was this Campbell soup, I think it was Campbell soup commercial when I was a kid of like the snowman walking inside and like the mom gives him the chicken noodle soup and like he slowly thaws out and it's a small child. When you go out and feed the ducks or the chickens or whatever in this kind of weather, you come in feeling kind of like the snowman child. And chicken and dumplings is a wonderful remedy for that feeling. So let's go make some chicken and dumplings. So we're gonna start by putting a little bit of olive oil. In the bottom of our pan. And we're gonna turn it on to a medium heat and let that heat up. And to our pot, we're gonna add two cloves of freshly minced garlic. And of course, like always, it never wants to come off the garlic press. Go in there, go in there, it's your home. Now we're gonna add a small chopped up onion. And if you've seen this channel before, you know what comes next. We're gonna cook our garlic and onions until they become translucent and aromatic. That was about three or four sliced carrots. It was three. And that was three stalks of sliced celery. And I'm gonna give everything a seasoning with some fresh cracked ground pepper. I love my pepper mill. I've brought this up before. It's the OXO um, 
you get to dial your fineness or coarseness of your pepper. I have two of them. I have one for uh, black, just black pepper, and I have one that I use for a red Szechuan pepper when I'm doing stir fries. And then we're just going to add some sea salt, flavor to taste. You're the boss here. You get to decide how much pepper, how much salt. And we're just going to let these cook until they become tender. While that's cooking away, we're going to do some prep work over here at my island, which isn't really an island. It's a giant kitchen cart from Ikea, but I'm gonna get an island. That is on the list of things that we're gonna do to this house. I really think that uh, an island, I don't think islands should be ubiquitous in every kitchen, but I really think this, this kitchen supports and kinda needs an island, which is weird, because I used to not like them. So we're gonna put my leftover vegetables in the composter and We'll get started. My glass cutting board over my wood one. This is about a pound of chicken left over from last night's dinner, which was a rotisserie style chicken that I made from one of our yard birds. Not not the egg layers. It was a Red Ranger from the batch we did this year. We're just gonna kind of cube it up in a rough cut and put it back into its container. You could make this recipe with a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store. You could make this recipe with a poached chicken if you were making stock. It's very versatile. You can make it with a baked chicken. I just really like my rotisserie machine because it bakes a chicken in about an hour and that's kind of groovy. We ate mostly the leg and thigh for dinner last night. So this is the majority of the breast meat. And because it's already cooked, it's one of the last ingredients that will go in. So chicken chopping is prep work number one. Back to our pot. We're going to sprinkle our vegetable mixture with a little bit of flour, which will work as a thickening agent for our chicken and dumplings. You don't want too much. Three tablespoons, or yeah, three tablespoons seems roughly about what you need. If you notice, starting to kind of coat the vegetables. And we're just gonna kind of let this brown a little bit onto the vegetables. And then we'll add our stock. For this, I'm using Herbes de Provence to kind of season everything. Again, flavor to your liking. I like a lot of herbal herbalness to my food. So I tend to go pretty heavy. You may not. Use your judgment. Cooking is fun because it's freeing. You get to do what you think sounds good. And now we're gonna slowly add our stock.
So this has got about three. see here. It's got three cups. Quite a quart. Oh, I can show you this is a quart because the three cups comes to about here. So four cups. Is that a quart? That's a pint. Yeah, this quart. This quart jar of stock. This simmer so it thickens back up. Try to get the spoon from falling in. Back to the other station. So I'm back at my prep station and we're gonna be working on the dumplings for the chicken and dumplings. Our dumplings are incredibly easy. In fact, we made them in another video. For your dumplings, you're going to use a biscuit recipe like my sourdough discard biscuit recipe. I'm just going to smoosh it out, no need to get a rolling pin out, to about a, let's say like a four by four square, roughly. A little smoosh some. And that allows us to make even some even pieces. Now you can make as many dumplings as you like. We have biscuits to eat with our dinner, so I'm going light on the dumplings. But this is actually the leftover biscuit cuttings from when I made my biscuits. So I'm just going to kind of roll them into little balls because I, the only reason I'm rolling them into little balls is if you've ever made donut holes you will know it is a lot easier to fry your donuts when they're in a cylindrical, sorry, sp spherical shape because they roll easier in the broth. And if you see any that are kind of wimpy dumplings, augment them with another wimpy dumpling. It's so tim it's so technical. If you so choose, you can leave your dumplings in like, you know, flat square shaped format. I just like them in balls. I'm weird. Let's get back to the stove. We're just going to let this simmer. It's going to thicken up because of the flour we put in it. Um, it's already starting to thicken up. We don't want it to get too thick because we're going to add our chicken. We're going to give this about two more minutes to just kind of reduce a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and add our chopped up chicken. Since I really like a creamier chicken and dumpling, I'm going to add just a little splash, about a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. Gonna let it come back to a simmer or boil. You want it to come back to a boil because if you don't, when you add your dumplings, they will not cook up, they will just turn into mush. No one likes a mushy dumpling. It's not quite there yet. We're gonna give it a few more minutes. Perfect. If you can see that, our power. Chicken and dumplings are boiling. Our chicken is starting to cook. It's not really cooking, it's heating up. It was pre-cooked, which makes this go really quickly. And we're just gonna start throwing in our dumplings, very gently. We don't want to splash ourselves with hot boiling soup.
just kind of spread them around like a meat. I, I've made meatballs the same way where you simmer them in the sauce. It's the same concept. If you notice, they're starting to kind of rise. Get them a little, get them kind of nice, nicely nestled in the broth. And just let them do their thing. And we're gonna let this go for about 10, 15 minutes until the dumplings are, are done. So the dumplings are no longer dough. See how they've poofed up? They're keeping form. That's what you want. That is, that is chicken and dumplings. So that is a really lovely, thick, hearty bowl of chicken and dumplings. You've still got your obvious celery and carrot pieces, but those dumplings have cooked up beautifully. I can't wait to go eat this. So I'm gonna go plate up dinner. Call on, call Everett into the kitchen so we can have some supper. And um, I really think you should give this one a shot. It smells really, really, really good. If you don't have sourdough to you know discard, there are other biscuit recipes you can use. I'll throw one down in the show notes. If you like content like this, um, I don't do this very often, but like and subscribe. Um, I probably should do that at the beginning of the video, but eh, better late than never. It, it's what keeps me going and making all of this content. Um, and I could always do with some more likes. Validation, people. It's good for the soul. Just like the, just like chicken and dumplings. Until next time, you take care of yourselves.